Hi guys, Office Bloke Dave here. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing great. I am uh, getting back into doing music stuff. Like I really miss it. As the Office Blokes, when we first started doing Office Blokes React, it was all about the music. It was, I mean, it was me showing the guys some really filthy metal tunes and all of us just uh, getting to see some people that have never heard music like that before sort of react to it and just have their minds absolutely blown and baffled. But um, we don't do music really anymore at the office blokes we do the odd thing here and there we throw out like you know like i know we did the uh the foo fighters sort of tribute with um tyler hawkins son Th that did all right but the vast majority of music that i want to be checking out over on the office blokes is just not gonna no one's gonna watch it really or very few people will anyway that's why i'm taking over um what we're gonna do or what i'm gonna do is a bit of spirit box which coincidentally, one of the bands that I became aware of off the back of Office Blokes React. So this is Constance, I think it is. Let me have a look. Constance, the acoustic version. I've never heard Spirit Box do acoustic stuff before, but Courtney LaPlante's got a great voice. So I can see um, her voice really suiting some acoustic stuff. So let's get into it. This is Spirit Box, Constance, acoustic. Alison Chain's Acoustic Fives so far. love that string section got a proper soft spot for string sections this like I absolutely love it as well when heavy bands do acoustic covers it's just it works so well a lot of lyrically and sort of the composition and stuff works absolutely amazing just as a stripped back acoustic cover my favorite I think of all time is when um, and my mind's literally just gone blank textures did What's the messengers? The acoustic cover version. The acoustic cover version of their own song, Messengers. If anyone hasn't checked that out, check it out. It's one of the best acoustic performances of a metal tune, in my opinion. But this is absolutely great, and what beautiful voice she's got. We we knew the voice was good when we've heard the heavier tunes, but this is a lot softer, stripped back, just spot on. Just 
mistakes wouldn't face me It's a choice I don't want it Pumped her up when you promise Kind of lies when you run mm. It's a to lose and wonder why I've got to pause it somewhere in common Otherwise I'm just sat here listening to a tune But that's better than 95% of the music in the charts a lot of the time because I, I I sort of burnt out with podcasts to listen uh, a little bit I used to listen to them all the time and uh, like even when you pick your own music and listen to the same albums in the car when you're stressed or you've had a crazy day and like you know the office folks could have spent a few hours reacting to stuff I don't want necessarily like to go home listening to Pantera or Slayer or something it's, it's too much so I listen to Radio 1, which is like the UK pop radio station that's just, it's like the top top 30 songs, you know, over the current stuff, but then they'll throw in stuff that was top 10 over the years. And to me, it's kind of like, it just doesn't ask anything of your brain whatsoever. So I can have it on low and I can drive about. So I get quite familiar with what's in the charts, even though you wouldn't think I listen to like the pop charts. This, without a doubt, is better than me. 95% of the stuff that's in the charts and should be up there in my opinion just my humble opinion there just in love to escape it never takes what it face me it's a choice I don't want it palms are rough when you promise tie the lines when you run it's a to lose and wonder why Yeah, that, that was absolutely amazing. Like I say, I absolutely love stuff like that. Go and treat yourself and check out Textures doing the acoustic version of Messengers. But when any heavier band does that sort of stuff, like when Incubus did it years ago and Alice in Chains unplugged and stuff like that, it just adds this whole new dynamic to songs that are already really well written and I think exposes them for how well written a lot of these songs are and lyrically how good they are. But that was great. That was really good. I think that's that's a side of Spirit Box I've not seen before, and uh, I do kind of get that they they're getting a healthy amount of success now, and I think it's really deservedly so. I think the the, the novelty a little bit for the general public of seeing like a, a female vocalist that can sing really well and then just like growl and scream, it's like the uh, the sort of ginger thing as well. That's like a once you get past that, it's good to see that there's so much substance behind it. I'm probably not articulating that in the right sort of way. But I think for a lot of people who don't listen to heavy music and they hear someone like Ginger or Spirit Box for the first time, it kind of blows their mind in a way that they just hear the screamy, angry stuff. Because a lot of people aren't used to hearing that. The non-metal heads aren't used to hearing that, especially coming from a girl. But that's uh, that shows exactly how, just how well written 
a lot of these songs are and how talented they actually are. So yeah, absolutely love that. I like Spirit Box anyway, so uh, yeah, I thought I would like it. But yeah, nice one. So comment below what else I need to be doing, what I need to be checking out. If you have gone and checked out the acoustic version of Messengers um, by Textures, then comment below and let me know you've done it. And uh, yeah, subscribe, like. If everyone likes and subscribes and I gain a bit of traction, I'm gonna keep it up. So yeah, it's all down to you guys, really. I appreciate that. And I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.